been two months since the suicide and crisis hotline switched over to three easy numbers, 988. Over the summer, 37,000 calls. And tonight, in a time when more and more people are looking for answers to mental health concerns, we're learning the state is picking up the call. Yeah, the new 988 mental health hotline rolled out this summer. And new numbers show in the first 45 days, operators were able to help rescue nearly 500 callers who were believed to be in danger. CBS 46's Patrick Quinn spoke with experts and found many of those hurting. Patrick, mostly are teenagers. Isn't that wild? 10% of all of these calls to 988 in these first 45 days since they started studying this were from those 18 years and younger. And yes, we're really seeing that teens across Georgia, they're looking for help right now. And now the 988 hotline launched in mid-July. Interestingly, Georgia rural counties had the highest prevalence for crisis calls in the first 30 days. New data just released shows these 988 calls. They're being answered in 7.4 seconds on average and 97% are being answered in state. The state recognized youth especially are agonizing over mental health issues and seeking help. That's why Rachel Holloman and the Georgia Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities is holding the first ever co-ed teen suicide prevention summit this weekend in Cobb County. We want to normalize among our teenage population in Georgia, talking about mental health, talking about suicide prevention, knowing that it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to ask for help. And the team will host roughly 600 youth in Cobb County at the Roxy in the Battery this weekend. We'll have much more on 988, what we've learned so far since it launched, as well as other efforts the state is pursuing right now for suicide prevention. Live tonight in Atlanta, Patrick Quinn, CBS 46 News. Patrick, thanks. And one more time in big numbers on your screen, 988 will get you in contact with the suicide and crisis experts 24.